two apps have hands down changed my PKM workflow. One is Obsidian and two is Readwise. A third one joins that mix today and it's Readwise's Reader application. In this video, we're gonna discuss how I'm using Reader, the types of features that you might care about and giving you an overview of my workflow and how it fits in the broader setup of my PKM system. With that, let's dive in. Now, before we get into the application, I want to give you an opportunity. If you haven't signed up for Readwise yet, now is the time to do so. You can head on over to readwise.io slash Justin to get a free 60 day trial. That's twice the length that Readwise gives you out of the box. So head on over to readwise.io slash Justin, experiment with it for a little bit and see if you can find some value for it in your PKM workflow. So Reader has changed the way that I work with information that I find out on the web, specifically articles that I want to read for later. In the past, we've used services like Instapaper or Evernote for this, but they traditionally have the problems of just becoming the junk drawer that you never really deal with, just the place where stuff goes to never get touched again. Reader potentially could have that same problem, but because it's designed by PKM enthusiasts, for PKM enthusiasts, there are a number of features in the application designed to help prevent that. So what you're seeing on the screen here is the home screen for Reader. You can see there's a number of sections here. Continue reading, where you can jump in where you left off, things that you haven't finished quite yet. Recently added, if there's brand new things. A shortlist, you can tag an article with the tag shortlist and add it here if there's items you wanna prioritize. Quick reads that are shorter than 10 minutes, New in feed, cool feature is that you can add RSS feeds to Reader to have it automatically come into the workflow that's built within this application. Long reads, longer than 30 minutes. Recently highlighted if you want to come back to it. And this is customizable as well if you want to take a different view on this. There are a couple different sections in the application as well. There's the library which is where the primary workflow of capturing, processing, and handling things that you're consuming inside of Reader happens. There's the feed where you can get all the RSS feeds from creators and writers and producers that you like and you want to highlight their information. You can get it straight within the application. You don't have to do this dance of going to one application over here and dealing with another application to get it in the middle and then moving it into Reader or some other service to finally analyze it and then sync it into something else. It's in one spot and it works really well. And then you can search. Something that's neat about Reader is that there are different types of media that you can put in here as well. There are articles, books. You can add EPUB books in here directly to the app. You can forward emails into here. So if you have your favorite long read newsletter that you want to read inside of Reader, you can easily do that. There's an email address that you can grab out of your settings to send it right here. You can add PDFs, which is really nice if you're reading a long report and you want to highlight it and then save those highlights and maybe sync them into Obsidian or review them in the Readwise app. And you can also add tweets. Uh, this is the short list that we talked about already. And I know that there are more media types that the team is working on. It's heavily text oriented right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if they came out with more audio or video related features because I know in the PKM space, those are high in demand, but they're just not available at this time. You can add documents right here. There's a command palette when you hit command K, which allows you to do stuff really easily from the keyboard, which is a really great thing uh, to do on uh, PKM related apps these days. You can triage, you can annotate and so on. Just basically anything that you can do in the app itself, you can do from the keyboard in some way, shape or form. And then there's a nice help feature over here. Now, some of this stuff is a little jostled on my screen because I'm zoomed in pretty heavily for the video purposes as you zoom out. So you can see it's nice and wide. There's plenty of space and breathing room in here. Uh, another way to think about Reader is it's kind of like superhuman for email, but it's for documents and articles that you want to read. There's quick ways to process through it. There's a workflow built in. And so let's get into that workflow and how I use Reader right now. So let's start in the library. The library is going to be the main view that you're going to be interacting with documents through. 
Now you can come up here and you can click. There's a bunch of different actions you can take up here. You can also filter down into each one of these article or uh, media types over here and you get the same experience, but the library puts all of these types into one place. And you can see my inbox is empty. And that's because I do a pretty decent job of triaging my items that I capture in the inbox. Now you wanna think of the inbox similar to a getting things done style inbox. It's not the place where things live, it's the place where things land to be processed and handled at a later point in time. So for example, say I am reading this new blog article by Cal Newport, and I really wanna dig into it a little bit further. One way that I can capture this is by using the Readwise Reader extension, which you can see in the upper right hand corner of my screen, it's the yellow R. I'm gonna click on this. And now you can see that there's a bar at the top. One thing I love about the Readwise Highlighter extension is that it allows you to read and highlight and still capture all of that information into Reader and the Readwise app ecosystem overall without breaking context. So I can jump straight into Reader if I want to by clicking on this link in the upper left. But if I wanna highlight an article right on the website, I literally can just click and drag with the highlight extension uh, enabled and I've just highlighted that. I can add notes, I can add tags, all right from here. I can add a document level tag, and I can move this to later if I'm done with it and I wanna process it further, or if I'm completely done, I can archive it. Let's head back into the inbox here. You can now see that this article is in the inbox. The two things that I do when I look at an article in the inbox are one, I will tag it. So what this does is it allows me to get a sense for what the article is about. So if there's a specific topic that I'm looking at researching, I can group it under that. The other thing this does is it syncs into my Obsidian Vault with a tag in that note uh, linking to that particular topic so that it's automatically linked into the web of topics that I am thinking about inside of that vault. And so this one really has to do with meetings and it has somewhat to do with remote work, which is a topic that I enjoy. So I know that I wanna read this one later, so I am going to move it to later by clicking the clock icon here. I could also archive it if I decide that it's not something that I wanna read in the future whatsoever. So I'm gonna hit L and it moves over to later. Let's go there now too. Later is the section with all of the articles that you've said, I wanna process through this at some point. So let's say I wanna take a look at this article on how big tech runs tech projects and the curious absence of Scrum. I'm gonna click on that and get right into it here. In the left-hand bar, this is a table of contents. So any header that's in the article will be listed here. I could click on this big tech organizational structure one and it takes me directly to that section which is really handy if you have a long article like this one that you wanna jump around to different parts of it. Again, just like on the website with the highlighter extension, you can click and drag over a section and say, I wanna highlight this section here. It's there. I can add a note to this. So say, I now have a note there. I can also tag this with a topic and now it's tagged. So just like at the document level, I can write a note and I can tag, and that will get synced into Obsidian or whatever PKM app that I am using and also linking uh, those items as well so that I can deal with them or connect them into the broader landscape of my PKM system without even having to think about it. That I think is great. I'm just gonna delete this highlight for now. The other cool thing that happens here is that say you run across this article on the web and you really wanna follow up and get more of what this person is writing. You can click the subscribe button over here and this will subscribe you to this website's RSS feed and it will populate those articles straight into Reader in the feed section. This is super easy because it just keeps you completely in context. Now on the right hand pane, there's a couple of different panes here. There's the info pane, which is all the metadata from the article, the summary, the document tags, other metadata of the type, the domain, published date, when it was saved, and how far you've progressed through reading it. 
Under the notebook section, this is where your highlights will show up. So if you're looking for a specific highlight in this article, go to the notebook section and click on it here. You can also add a document note as I alluded to earlier. So say this was recommended to me by Clement on one of our recent live streams here on the channel. And so I just wanted to remember that, and that will also get synced into Obsidian. The links tab is not implemented as of yet, but I can imagine the use case for this is if there's a series of links in the article, uh, it will populate those here so that you can quickly access them and also add them to Reader. One of the things that I find that happens often when I read items is if there's usually a link in an article that I wanna dive into a little bit further. Let's take a look for one here real quick. All right, so I found one here. I am going to click on this and it now gives you the option to either open the link right away or save it to Reader or copy the link to the clipboard just by clicking on it. I'm gonna save the link to Reader because I think this is interesting and I wanna read it for later. So I don't even have to think about that too. That is one of the themes with using Reader is that it removes so much friction on capturing, processing, and dealing with the information that we gather out of articles. All the highlights go into the Readwise daily reviews so that you can review them on a regular basis and engage with your PKM process to connect ideas and remember stuff that actually matters to you. And it uses the Readwise sync functionality to get all of those highlights into the PKM app of your choice, whether it be Realm Research, Notion, Obsidian, LogSeq, or others. So when I'm done with this article, I am going to archive it. I actually wanna read this one, so I'm not going to archive it for now, but you can see in the archive, I have a number of different articles that I have read. And all of the highlights here, for example, are, are right over here. If I wanna jump into a highlight, I can click right onto that as I mentioned. I think Readwise adds a ton of value to my personal knowledge management workflow for a number of reasons. The number one of which being is that it integrates with all of the tools that I already use really easily. And it makes me think less about the actual process. It removes the friction. It greases the wheels of actually processing this stuff, putting it in a system, and figuring out what to do with it later. So with that, I wanna hear from you. Have you tried Reader yet? Is it changing the way that you're doing things or is it not really jiving for you? Either way is totally okay because not every tool is for every person. Find what works for you and stick with that. For me, Readwise and Reader are two big time applications that have changed the game for me in how I manage knowledge. And if you haven't had a chance to try Readwise yet, be sure to head on over to readwise.io slash Justin. The link is in the description below if you want an easy way to get access to that to try out both Readwise and Reader today. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one, but until next time, stay effective.